ties list are actually similar to vectors. Come on man, you are so rude. Let's see the difference between vectors and list. In vectors, we are restricted to insert our data at the end of the vector. But in list, we can insert data at the beginning or middle or at the end. Vector is like an array that is contagious memory allocation. But list are like our doubly linked list. Now let's see the syntax of list. Simple. First, we need to write the word list, then data type, and the name of our list. For example, let's create a list li of type integer. We can insert data at three positions. To insert data at front, we use a function called as push front. For back, we use a function called as push back. And to insert data in the middle, we need to use our iterators. I know that you are confused. So let's make it easier for you. First, include the list header. Let's create a list called numbers, which is of type integer. Now we are inserting elements in list using pushback function. Let's copy the pushback and paste it multiple times because I am lazy and uh, create a list like 10, 20, 30, 40. You can imagine the list like this. Now we need something so we can traverse through the list and perform all the operations and that something means an iterator iterator is nothing but a pointer in HTML how to create an iterator and how to use it let me show you how easily you can remember the syntax of iterator first write the keyword iterator and name of iterator for example, iterator it. I name the iterator it. You can name it anything you want. Now we need to mention which type of iterator we need. We need a iterator to point this list. Oh, sorry and the list is of type integer so okay it means that we need this iterator for a list which is of type integer then scope resolution iterator and the name of the iterator that is it so let's do it Don't worry about this number start begin. Sorry, syntax error. The scope resolution. And let's print the value the iterator is currently pointing to. So 10 is printed. Let's understand what is going on behind the scenes? What is this numbers.begin? This is actually an inbuilt function 
Now the next question is how can I remember all these inbuilt functions? Let's visit a website which will help you a lot. This is c++.com. Don't worry, the link is in the description. We can skip all this boring part. I will teach you everything about iterators. There are lots of inbuilt functions, but they are easy. And they are the same. Let's understand what is begin. Begin. Let's modify our code so that I can explain you better. Don't get confused by looking at this array. This is actually our doubly linked list, but I just remove the arrows, they consume lots of space. What exactly does this statement mean? This means we created a iterator ID, which is just idle, means it is not pointing to anything. Now, this statement it is equal to numbers dot begin means that now our it iterator starts pointing to the first block of numbers list. So this is number dot begin. Now our iterator is pointing to 10. Challenge. Can you guess which block is going to be numbers dot n? If your answer is 40, then no. Next box after 40 is numbers dot n. Since I said that iterator is like pointer, therefore we are just outputting the current value. So the correct 10 is printed. Now let me show you why iterator is different than pointer. Let's increment the iterator. Build and run. Now the output is 20. Our iterator is incremented. But to increment a pointer, we write something like ptr is equal to current arrow next. So this is the difference between iterator and pointer. Let's print all our elements in list using a loop. So for it, it is not equal to numbers dot in that means at the end of the list till the end of the list and it plus plus. See out the current value in iterator. Build and run. Take a look at our for loop conditions if you are confused. This is easy actually. Now it's time for R begin. What is R begin? Reverse return reverse iterator to reverse beginning. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let me show you what is meant by R begin. So change our begin to R begin and see out star it. R begin means actually it's a reverse. It's uh, it is showing an error, but why? No match for operator. Uh, 
R begin means reverse. Beginning from reverse. So there is something called as reverse iterator since we are going reverse. So begin means from starting to end. So we need to use the reverse iterator when we use R begin. Now the fourth is printed, which is R begin means beginning from the reverse. And at the end, 40 is the element. So we are getting 40 as output. Now it plus plus. Let's increment and let's see where the iterators goes, in which direction. Build and run. Now 40. After incrementing, it becomes 30. So we are going reverse. I hope you can guess R in. R in the same is like in. These are the same as above. The only difference is C. And that C means constant. That means we can change values using iterators. All these functions belong to list STL. I will teach you all these functions in our next video. Guys, I hope you can imagine the amount of work and time I invested in this video. The only thing I want from you is to click on that like button so that this video will appear on top of YouTube search. And please comment a lot and don't be lazy to share something good with your friends. Thanks for watching.